guest is very passionate about his work, pediatric scoliosis. So much so, he has a very big lecture coming up and he wants to tell you more about it. This is Dr. Michael Chang. He is a spine surgeon with Sonoran Spine Center. I want to welcome you to Sonoran Living Live because so many families have children who suffer from pediatric scoliosis. What is that? Well, thanks for inviting me on here, Susan. Pediatric scoliosis refers to an abnormal curvature of the spine. So most of the time, when you look at a normal spine and you see it straight on, it's relatively straight. But in pediatric scoliosis, it develops a curve like so that gives it a C or an S shape. And how many kids are we talking about roughly school-age children are affected by this? About 3% of the school-age population is affected by this condition. Now, do all of those children who suffer from pediatric scoliosis need surgery or do, do, what are the symptoms? How do they know they have it? Well, most of the time, the symptoms are relatively mild, like back pain, uh, but if it becomes more and more severe, mm -hmm. if you don't catch it early on, it can lead to problems like difficulty breathing and even lead to constriction of the lungs and heart failure in the long term. This can really affect a child's well-being and overall life expectancy. Are we talking about boys or girls who are most susceptible? Well, boys and girls are equally susceptible to the mild version, but girls are 10 times more likely to have the severe, more endangering version of the disease. So how, like, what, as a parent, what am I looking for? Is, is my kid going to be sitting slumped over? Like, what am I going to look for as a parent to go, you know what, I think we got to take you to the doctor. Sure, well, all teenagers to some extent slump at times, but mm -hmm. what you're mainly looking for is that if they stand and you're looking from their back, you'll see that they have some asymmetry at the level of their shoulders. One shoulder looks higher than the other, or they'll say when they bend over, it looks like some of their ribs are sticking up abnormally or their hips look like they're uneven. So mm -hmm. if they look asymmetrical, that's one of the most concerning things. And Dr. Chang, I know you are a leading a pediatric spine surgeon. You said not all cases will require surgery. What can we, what, what, what are some of the remedies for this then? Well, fortunately, only about one in 10 cases actually become severe enough uh, to require surgery. For the other nine in 10, it can range from just physical therapy and anti-inflammatories. And in intermediate cases, you can often get treated with just a brace. So that's why it's very important to screen children for this disease, because you catch them earlier on, then you can potentially avoid surgery entirely. Can you hold that up again? Because sure. spine is is our spine, our spine is supposed to have a little bit of a curve. Correct? Yes, so as it turns out, in the normal spine, it's supposed to be straight if you look at it straight on, but if you look at it from the side, the spine is supposed to have a gentle S shape. That's mm -hmm. why the small people's back and why people have a slight hunch through their chest region. Mm -hmm. However, in scoliosis, because of the rotation, it actually becomes the opposite. So they're curved or S shaped when you look at them straight on, mm -hmm. and when you look at them from the side, they're often straighter. So that's abnormal. And those 1% of cases who do have to go through this spine surgery, it's pretty traumatic, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah, so the surgery itself uh, is a relatively big surgery, but fortunately, teenagers recover very quickly from the surgery. They're usually back to school in two to three weeks, and uh, that's after a hospitalization of about four days. So we've made significant strides, both in terms of what we can do for uh, the children, as well as how active they can be afterwards. Now they can play sports at three months, for example. Wow, after three months after the surgery, they're back out on the field. Absolutely. And you have a very big lecture coming up, and what, can, what kind of questions should parents bring you to this lecture? Absolutely. Well, it's a it's a very big topic, and if you do a literature search online, you'll find that there's a lot of conflicting information. So, uh, parents should bring all the questions they have about the disease. You know, in terms of well, what causes it? Can backpacks cause it? Short answer: No. Uh, and, uh, you know, what can we do about it? All right, well, we have all the information there. The Pediatric Scoliosis Lecture it takes place Saturday, December 7th at Scottsdale Healthcare Shea Medical Center. The event starts at 10 in the morning. If you'd like to attend, you must register at shc.org slash events. If you would like to make an appointment with the Sonoran Spine Center, call 480-962-0071. The website is sonoranspine.com.